Hey there, and welcome to my home. Today we are decorating for summer, and what better place to start than the front porch? The front porch is the very first thing visitors see, so I always want it to be inviting and welcoming to whoever comes to my door. I could smell the pines when I let you in the doorway. Took the seat next to mine like you've been One of my favorite brands for artificial greenery, Balsam Hill, was kind enough to send me a few things to help me beautify my front porch this summer. So I am adding topiaries to this area. This is a great way to make a big impact, especially in a small space like mine. These gorgeous topiaries from Balsam Hill are so lovely. They actually light up and really give my porch a much more polished look. When I add an artificial plant to an urn or a planter, I like to use packing paper just to hold the base in place and make sure that plant stays nice and straight and then I'm going to add some moss right on top to give it a finished look. At the end of my bed in the palm tree lightning It was nothing you did I just felt my low lightning Now we talk all the time it's a little one-sided Always one step ahead And I'm running behind you I'm befriended And in Lucia I could never stand Balsam Hill also has some of the absolutely most beautiful wreaths, such good quality. I love the ones I chose for summer. The blue flowers are vibrant and add the perfect pop of color to my front door. They actually have a sale going on right now, 40% off plus free shipping. So if you're looking for beautiful greenery this summer, I have the link for you in my description. Thank you so much to Balsam Hill for helping me bring my little front porch space back to life this summer. One of my favorite color palettes to decorate with during the summer months is a mix of navy, soft blue tones, white, and a little pop of yellow. I love to enjoy it in my home, especially during the month of June. It's such a feel-good color palette that brings a freshness to the space, and for me it just says summer is officially here. Plus, it's a nice prelude to the Americana decor I like to decorate with for the month of July because all I have to do is switch out some of the yellow for red, and I have a festive red, white, and blue space for the fourth. In an If you've decorated here with me on my YouTube channel before, then you probably know I like to set up a coffee bar or a seasonal treat bar here in my breakfast room. Well, this month we are changing it up a bit. I knew I was going to have a lemon theme going on in this space and I thought, you know what? It's summertime. Let's make it a little more fun and set up a margarita bar. <laughs> This could be a really cute lemonade bar if that's more your thing, but I have decided that at this point in my life, my mid-30s, when life gives me lemons, I'm adding salt and tequila. At least this summer I am. <laughs>
things I most look forward to each month is my breakfast room tablescape. This is where I eat, I entertain, I spend a lot of time, so I really enjoy changing it up with the seasons. I saw this really adorable tabletop lemon tree on Amazon and thought it would make the perfect centerpiece for this table. I've been looking for a casual set of blue and white dishes for some time now, and I actually went to Kirkland's last week to pick up a few more decorative lemons. They have my favorite decorative lemons. They're in this video, I'll link them below. And I just happened to find these dishes on clearance. It was such a good find. I'll also link these dishes if they're still available online, but if not, and you're looking for blue and white dishes, definitely go check your local Kirkland's. I love these. Something I've always done when decorating my home is add ribbon to things like vases and lanterns. It's just a little personal touch that I think softens the space, gives it a bit more of a feminine feel, and makes it feel like I did something unique to my decor just for me. Do you have a little something that you do when you decorate your home that is unique to you, that makes your space just feel so much more special? Tell me in the comments below. I would love to know what that thing is. That's sure something I could use A cure for the air conditioning
A freshly decorated space would not be complete without a few vintage books from my grandpa's collection and a picture of my sister and I, of course. The last space I'm going to decorate today with you is the dining table. I really like adding a complimentary tablescape here to whatever decor I have in my home. I don't have any particular plans for a dinner party this June, but you never know. So I always like to stay ready. Thank you so much for decorating with me today. I want you to know how much I appreciate you taking time out of your day to hang out with me here on YouTube. I will see you again very soon with another summer decorating video. Until then, happy decorating!